The IRS is currently operating with only 12 percent of its staff. There's a voicemail on the phone when you call that says that there's nobody available to talk to you. Americans are still expected to begin filing their taxes this month. If the shutdown reaches tax season, Crosser said the IRS will take payments, but there won't be any refunds. Which is really a big impact on, on everything because there's billions and billions of dollars of refunds that are issued. IRS employees already have their hands full this month with the implementation of a new tax law. There may be some forms that still aren't updated. There's instructions that still aren't done. There's worksheets that still aren't done by the IRS because nobody can work on them because of the shutdown. Bad timing, no doubt, for the IRS. As for the Social Security Administration and U.S. Passport Services, their offices remain fully operational. We did get the notification that passports are pretty much status quo. Thursday night, the House of Representatives passed two bills that would reopen the government. President Trump has indicated he will veto that legislation. We've just got a situation here where, you know, the president is very unpredictable, and I think that's very unfortunate. Um, he's been unpredictable since day one of his presidency. And in a situation like this, we just can't afford an unpredictability. We need stability. In Atumwa, Beth Walden, KTVO News.